Yes, good morning, guys, and uh, welcome. Uh, up on the screen, we have the original Bohol Scammers. Our Terence and Lady Macbeth. Now, very recently, there has been some major developments. So in this video, we're going to bring you an update and just explain briefly how these pair of scumbags have gotten to where they are today. So, without further ado, I want you to take a look at this next screenshot. So in this screenshot, guys, posted only three days ago um shock horror we are selling our house yes terence and beth are selling the hilltop compound at 19 and a half thousand square meters 3.5 million is the asking price and uh, you might wonder why they're selling it and where are they going to move to? Well, we're going to get into that. But everyone, Nanai, Lena, everyone from the hilltop is moving out. They're selling up. And we're going to get right into this now. But before we do, we need to explain how these two scumbags operate. Some time ago, in fact, a few years ago now, when the scumbags started uh, scamming and skimming from the house bills and the donations that were coming in, um, they had to justify they thought um, how they spent their money because they were having foreign holidays they were building swimming pools they were building houses for family members they had many different vehicles and to cover the fact that they were skimming and scamming of donations that were coming in they created a persona and that persona this make-believe person was someone called a little bit rich and whenever they made a major purchase Terence and Beth would explain that a little bit rich appeared for it he's our mentor he guides us he tells us everything uh, we need to know. But a little bit rich was a persona. It was created to cover their tracks. A little bit rich didn't exist. It was their way of covering the scam. Now, of course, they used a little bit rich persona uh, for some time but for a number of years now we've not heard anything about that persona and uh, things have developed let's just say things have moved on and as we showed you in the last screenshot they're selling up so where will they live? Let's take a look at this next screenshot. So in this screenshot, uh, we have the house, supposed house, of uh, John S. Or as they like to say, American John's Retirement House. Now, this is where they're living now. Uh, both Terence and Beth and most of the family and where they are going to be moving to so 
who is American John? John S. Who is he? Well, some time ago, Beth uploaded a video explaining everything. And what I gleaned from that video is the fact that the last time John S. visited Bohol was in 2019. That was before COVID. And uh, when they made videos, John S. did not appear in any videos. He likes his privacy, Beth said. And we respect people's privacy, she said. Well, that's... <laughs> That takes unbelieving after what you two scumbags have done to get where you're at today. So he doesn't like to be seen on camera. His last visit was 2019. Is John S. another persona? I'm going to suggest maybe, just maybe, he is. But um, this is where they're going to move to. This is where they are living now after uh, they sell the property on the hilltop the whole family's going there but I want you to look and listen to this next clip I had intended I've uh, been intended to do um, a little video showing my little modest gymnasium that I've got on our back patio and I started. So in that clip, Terence is on the back patio, as he put it. His exact words were, uh, I'm going to do a, a video, a workout on our back patio. Now, don't you think that if it wasn't his house, it's uh, on John's back patio? Or, words to that effect. Was that a slip of the tongue, Terence? Our back patio. I think there's more to this than meets the eye. And uh, I want you to take another little look at this uh, next little clip. So we did have a gate built. Well, our workers were still here and able to uh, to work on this. It's a big old heavy gate. This is no good. This will have to be replaced. Eventually, we'll make this into a sliding gate. So very cumbersome having to having to get out here. It should really be. It should really be on a remote, shouldn't it? If we were to be very, very spoiled. So that's where we live. That's our little stage with all of our grand ideas about that. Still uh, lots and lots of work to be done. So we have lots to do. And we'll do it when we get the money. And we work at getting the money. And this was our grand view. We did have a concert here. We built this stage. We had a concert to raise some money for the kids. It cost us more money to put the show on than it did. <laughs> than it uh, brought in. So in, in uh, foreigner terms, I know in America we, we will be called house poor so we live in a house and when people pass they think oh very rich people but um, I'd swap what I have in my pocket for what, what they have in theirs probably so after listening to those clips who lives in a house like that whose house really does that belong to I get the distinct impression that that house belongs to these two scumbags, Terence and Lady Muck. 
Lady Macbeth. This so-called uh, John S is another persona. Doesn't want to appear on video. No one's ever seen him. And that persona, I believe, uh, was created uh, to cover up the fact that these two up on the screen were building that house for themselves. They have scammed big time. And bear in mind that not seven years ago, Terence arrived in Bohol with not a pot to piss in. He had nothing. He's admitted he had nothing. And here we are, they're living in a house fit for a president. They're driving around in a car fit for a president. These two scammers have hit it big time. And all the way through, the wily old fox has covered his tracks. And he's covered his tracks again by creating that persona, John S., who never appears on camera. John S. will never set foot in the Philippines. And uh, now that it's been some time since that uh, house built, this new house, and the dust has settled, our Terence is letting things slip. Our back porch, our house, we'll replace the gate eventually. Uh, we need to go out and earn money uh, to finish any work. Well, if it wasn't your house, why would you need to go out and earn money to finish it? What happened to John S. Terence? And then, of course, guys, the selling the compound. The hilltop's been sold so the clan can move in to that house. That's my opinion. Uh, give me yours on these two pair of scumbags. Till the next time, bye for now.